Hello, and welcome to Notes in 9. I'm David Leedy. Episode 162, Learning Next Pages Part 3, Source Control. Don't underestimate the power of the source. Okay, let's go right into the show. Okay, there is a, one last thing I do want to do before um, uh, starting application development, is I want to download Source Tree. Uh, because as I go through this application, we're going to use uh, source control. Um, and then actually, there's actually a little project that we want to get from source control to start things off. Um, so I just Googled for source tree, and we got it, and we're going to run it. And we are going to put it wherever it wants to go. It doesn't matter. Install. And I've done this on the show before a couple times, I think. Um, so we're going to do it again, um, in case you don't want to go back and find that. And we're going to launch it. And uh, I guess we agree to that, because that's what we do. We agree to things without reading them, because you do it, I do it, my dog does it, we all do it. Well, this is new. I haven't downloaded it in a while, apparently. Just looks prettier, I guess. Okay, next. We'll just take the defaults. Um, trying to think of what it is. Okay, and we're going to clone. We're going to go right after. I've got a bunch of repositories here. Um, actually, we're going to skip that and we'll do it manually. Um, do you we're going to say no to this and now we have source tree now before we get involved in source tree we need to put a place on our hard drive for it to live and I'm going to keep it under um, my documents basically and we're going to make under yeah okay I guess We make a folder called source control. And then when you deal with source control, usually there's two types. There's git, which arguably is more possible, and there's mer er, more git, which is arguably more popular. And then there's mercurial, which is not as popular, uh, but because that's the way I roll, I like mercurial better because that's what we use at the day job. Uh, but I'm going to make two subfolders here for each. And Mercurial is also often called HG, which I guess is the uh, element name for uh, Mercury. Um, and we're going to go to HG right away. We're going to make a folder in here uh, called Controller. Because what we're going to do is I want to have available for my app is uh, some controller code uh, that Jesse uh, Gallagher has created. And uh, I use it all the time, and maybe you will soon. So... This is just the landing place. I find that it's easier to put your landing places in ahead of time, certainly in Domino Designer. In Source Tree, it's, it's a little nicer uh, to work with, but Domino Designers are a pain in the ass, quite honestly. So um, I would make your file folders first, and, and we'll talk about that when um, we uh, go into Domino Designer to put something into uh, Source Tree. I probably shouldn't use that kind of language. I'm going to get banned from iTunes soon. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to then go to Bitbucket. I love Bitbucket. Uh, Bitbucket is kind of like uh, GitHub, basically. So we're going to come here, and we're going to sign in. Oops, sir, let's sign up. I'm going to log in. Now, I don't think you'll actually need to do this. Um, you, you should. Um, but to, but to um, just pull from... A, a project. I think you can just do it directly. So here's like the link uh, that I made uh, with Jesse's permission. And and I've got some instructions on here in the readme. And we're going to go to the source tab. And I'm going to... No, we're not going to go to the source tab. What we're looking for is the... Um, we're looking for this thing right here. The, the URL to it. So we're going to copy that to the clipboard, and we're done with that. And we're going to come down to Source Tree, and we're going to clone it. 
we're going to paste that in. And we don't want this path. We want to put it in where we told it we told it to go. So source control, HG, controller. Okay, and then we're going to clone it. Okay, if we come here, we'll see the little branching, of which there really is none. And it's just ready to go, for the most part. Um, and this was created online with Bitbucket. So, okay, so we have that project now ready to go, and source control is sitting uh, there ready for us. Uh, we're not going to use it right away, uh, but now it's at least ready for us when we want it. And that's the demo. Uh, if you have any questions for me, here's my information, and I thank you for your time. Episode 162, Learning X Pages Part 3. Oh, Matt, come here a second. Come here a second. Get in on this. Get in on this. I can't do a menacing laugh. I can't. <laughs> that wasn't what? <laughs> I don't know a menacing laugh. What? I don't know a menacing laugh. Don't underestimate the power of the source. <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of the source. Don't underestimate the power of the source. Don't underestimate the power of the source.